family and friends, I'm Melinda. My name's Chris, and in today's video... What are we talking about? The pros and cons of... Oh, flying? Flying to Disney oh, World. Oh boy, this is and gonna be a goodie. We know everybody is different. Mm -hmm. So, if you would like, share your pros and cons down in the comments below. below. Yes, yes. What do you say we start? Okay, okay, so number one, this, he dealt with it the last oh, time we flew out boy, what, a did few I months ever. ago. Anxiety. Boy, do I get very anxious if I think I'm going to miss my flight. She is not lying. No. I think because... I was getting mad. Yeah, I, well, it's because I've missed my flight before, and I know how that feels, and I, oh my gosh. We were there two hours drink. early. And she was, oh, oh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. And I'm like, yeah. calm down. And yeah. no, she, oh, geez, oh, man. Yep. Yeah, anxiety. That, that was number one. For, yeah, for yeah. her, yeah. Two, we don't get uh, as excited with anticipation because it just yeah. seems like you wake up, okay, you gotta go, get on, and boom, you're out and you're. There. Right. The, the anticipation, the buildup just isn't there when you right. fly. And I think it's because growing up we always drove everywhere, so I'm thinking that's why. It's just it's not there for us. So yeah. So number three is you really have to watch what you buy at Walt Disney World because you've got to make space in your luggage. And I know and I know you can mail things back home, but sometimes it's more of a headache than anything to ship or mail anything back home and it might cost more and I know you can get I know there's like luggage you can take like a duffel bag in your suitcase just in case you buy a lot of stuff but you really do have to watch like breakables because this ornament here right there I dropped it I about had a cow flying home last time and yeah I'm just that just yes our, our one trip in March when we stayed at Pop Century mm -hmm. We mailed something down, mm -hmm. mailing it back. You had to try to make up a label. And they wanted to know the weight and how much, geez, how much did yeah. it weigh, and we didn't know that. And then you had to, you know, headache. it was more a pretty much of a headache. Right. So. So what's number four? So four is you are limited to what you can pack in your suitcase when you fly down. Uh, example: I wanted to bring toothpaste, mouthwash, this, that, and the other. Well, I had to watch the size uh -huh. because, you know, the TSA, you can only bring uh, uh, what, four, certain four ounces. ounces. You can only do four ounces. Yes, yeah, so, and you couldn't bring, like, I'll, I'll put four ounces mm -hmm. in an empty bottle, but right. the bottle was too big, and I mm -hmm. did find out you can't, it's the size of the bottle. Right. So you got to watch what you do there mm -hmm. and how much you, you can pack. Right. I know like a carry-on you can you can break, pay for an extra suitcase yeah. but if you don't pay for an extra suitcase then you got to figure out because mm -hmm. I didn't I couldn't pack enough shorts I had to bring a pair of pants I went on out of shorts I had to wear pants mm -hmm. one day right and it was it was hot that day mm -hmm. and number five so number five is you must pay now for transportation from the airport to your resort and back Yes. To the airport. I, yeah. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, because before you had Magical Express and it was pretty much worked into your deal. Mm -hmm. This time it's not worked into your deal, but they're still charging you the same. Right. But now you got to figure out, okay, it's going to cost me so much to, you know. I mean, don't you have to sign up? Um, yeah, you have to. I don't know the, the ends and outs. time. If you have to know, because he signed up the night before, I think it was. Well, we don't know the ins and outs. Like, there's a website yeah. you have to go on for. But you do bus. have to sign up. Yeah. For the the buses, mm -hmm. but a Lyft or an Uber, you don't have to figure out the. Uh, the but yeah, uh, but that's that's money spent. Yeah. Going to your resorts. If you're liking the video, give it that thumbs up. Every thumbs up <laughs> helps us grow. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Just hit the subscribe button and tap on that notification bell so whenever Chris puts up a video, you will be notified. If you're already subscribed, do me a favor, just check again because we have been hearing yes. 
YouTube has been taken away well, I guess they think they're bot subscribers, mm -hmm. so they unsubscribe some people. So just go ahead. And double check. Double check. Thank you very much, because it'll be very appreciated. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. much. So now let's do some pros of why you should fly to Disney. First, <clears throat> you get there faster. Yes. It takes us straight through. It takes us 17 hours. A little bit over. Well, well with his mother, 20. Well, anyway, yeah. and so yeah, 17 hours, mm -hmm. yeah. Now let's talk about number two. So number two is driving on Disney World property. Now this guy here, I call it Disney Road Rage because he doesn't know how to drive down there. I yes. She, she gets anxiety flying. Yes. <laughs> I get road rage driving down on yes. property. Uh, I'm not as bad. Well, you no. don't know where to go. It's yeah, like he's lost. Maybe, so maybe I, the, I do it. I have the patience to do it. Maybe so it was the purple signs. And now that they're gone, maybe it won't be so bad. I, I do the driving whenever we're down in Florida. Number three. We, not having to pay for parking at the resort mm -hmm. or the parks. Yes, because you can just fly. You don't have to oh, yeah, pay. You fly. You're not parking anywhere. You just go to your resort. I mean, so I guess paying for the bus... You don't have, I don't know, but still. Well, yeah, well, because with a car, you got to pay for parking, right. overnight parking. Mm -hmm. You go to the parks, parks. you got to pay at the parks. Well, unless you are a DVC member, then you do not get that charge of pay, paying to park at the resorts or at the parks. So number four, this one is really good. Um, so one of the pros for flying you don't have to take as many vacation days because mm -hmm. with us we got to take as extra ones because it takes us so long to get down there that whenever we come back we don't want to be that tired. So this is a pro. Because yeah, I have to take at least two days yes. before and two days after. But yes. if you fly, I could leave that night. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about hopping in the car and being tired trying right. to drive. Right. You just five hours. So that's a pro. Head. That is mm -hmm. such a pro. Number five. Number five. It's a lot easier to do like a quick weekend trip. Because you can't really do that when you drive, well, depending on how far away you are, you can't do that when you drive. But when you fly, you, you can, can do you can do those quick days, weekend trips. Yeah. yeah, and you don't have to worry about it. You just fly in, fly out, which is great. So yeah. So those are some pros and cons of flying to Disney World. Thank you guys so much for Thank you. watching. So just let us know down below what your pros and cons are. And if you agree or disagree with ours. Yes, do that. Mm -hmm. And until next time, remember, you're never too old. To be young. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.